Don't be frightened, we're just checking you out. Not frightened. Believe it or not, I have been checked out before. Yes, but have you ever been stalked by a lady cat? Good morning, Mrs. Jennison. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for the car full of popovers. Hilarious. <laughs> Spent the whole night vacuuming ants out of my car. Ants? Oh, sorry. Wasn't part of the plan. Although next time we just won't put them in so early. Next time? How many initiation tests do I have to pass? Ah, relax, kitty. You returned, which means you passed. Come on. Wait, wait, I passed? So I am now a part of your exclusive little waitressing club. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. You know, I know that you're bored and unhappy. So I guess if, you know, if Frankie the New Girls would get you off. Wait, wait, wait. I am not bored or lonely. And yeah, we like to play pranks on people and yeah, we think we're pretty hilarious. But if you don't want to be here, fine. All you have to do is sober up, get mommy and daddy off of your back, and get back to college. Oh my god. Oh, so what? We all know that you got a little bit drunk and got kicked out of school. Big whoop. Oh, is it okay? Is it? Because according to my parents and everyone else in this town, it is a big fucking whoop. <laughs> that was just, that was funny. I am supposed to be in New York right now, starting an internship with Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. And yet, I am here serving melon balls to a bunch of old geezers. Well, I don't have old geezers at Morgan Stanley. Yeah, but I don't have to pretend to like them or to laugh at their jokes. Okay. I'm pissed, I'm calling it. Then go. Yeah. Damn it, what'd I miss? Apparently not whiskey flight night at Mort's. Oh no, is it that bad? Lord, did you come straight here? <sighs> Pretty much. That's why I drive a van. Never have to go home, can walk to work. <laughs> Good Lord, Danny, can't you get a new roommate or a new apartment or something? Uh, that would require effort. Right. Well, you are lucky. Jeff's managing today, so you won't be banished back to the van. Leave it off. Thank God Jeff's working. I won't get written up for once. <laughs> yeah, right. How's his divorce going? You know, how divorces go. Embarrassing, sad, humiliating. I think Sherry's already engaged to somebody else. Aw, yeah. poor honey. I know. So what's up Sarah's ass today? No, I think she's still a little angry about the popovers. <laughs> and life in general. <laughs> so nothing new, really. Not really. Word of warning, I would not try to cheer her up. Not having it, huh? No. All right. It's time. Let's do this. Are you high? Um, a little bit. <laughs> Hurry up, let's go. Aye, aye, Captain.
Morning, boss man. Employee. Well, it's official. I'm divorced. Papers came in the mail yesterday. Okay. But did you sign them? I mean, I'm assuming that you didn't, since the envelope is as of yet unopened and thus not official. And what are they doing here anyway? Well, I didn't bring them here. They were delivered, which I thought was a courtesy. In fact, it was the only courteous thing Sherry ever did for me. I'm not sure it's a courtesy as it's just registered mail. Oh, well, it's a courtesy. So I thought later you and I could get together and go over all this paperwork together. It's just kind of overwhelming and I'm a little sad. Jeff, you were married for one year. Is it really that overwhelming or sad? Yeah. I mean, then I thought that, you know, later we could... No. Right. I'm just a little emotionally raw right now. She was a bitch to you. Just sign the papers.